guys, this is Edgars from SpokenLithuanian.com and today we have a new lesson. I am beginning a new uh, two-part series, top 50 nouns, top 50 Lithuanian language nouns. So basically these are the nouns that you are using every day, that we Lithuanian language speakers use every day. So I found these top 50 nouns to be used um, in, in a lot of uh, common situations where we want to speak Lithuanian language, we want to uh, try to say something. So those are the words, those are 50 words. Today you're going to learn just 25 that are commonly used. So we will try to practice them a, a little bit, you know, to, to use them in one or, or, or a couple of sentences, okay? So top 50 nouns, part one. And if you want more phrases, more words, um, something that you can, you know, download it into your mobile phone, just maybe access it while driving or while you're on the bus or just trying to work in a garden somewhere. I've created this 117 phrases book that you can download directly into your email. Just join my newsletter. You can find it on this link that you can see on the, on the screen right now, or you will find the link somewhere around the video, especially if you're on YouTube, just look at the comments or maybe look below the video in the description. You will find the link, press on it, and you will be able to uh, download this ebook to your um, phone. It's audio and PDF so that you can listen to it and then you, then you can watch it, you know, and then you can see it and read it at the same time. Okay, so let's go to the main lesson, right, to the nouns. Now we have the first noun. This is darbas, darbas. And we can make a verb out of it, which is dirpte. Darbas and dirpte, dirpte. And that means work or to work if we're making it into a verb, right? To work would be dirpte. The ending te gives us uh, that it's an um, infinitive version of the verb, right? Just as in English language, we have the word uh, to. Darbas, work, dirpte, to work. So, for example, I like to work. I like to work, phrase, would be man patinka dirpte. Man patinka dirpte. Now, in Lithuanian language, you're saying it as if uh, to me is the action of liking to work, right? I know it's a weird way of understanding, but I'm trying to give you a little bit of a sneak peek into Lithuanian language, the way we form sentences. So, I like to work is, is man patinka dirpte, but man is like to me or for me, not just I, you know. So, man patinka dirpte, patinka, patinka, patikte, patikte would be to like, to like, patikte mekte, right, man patinka. It means that um, I actually am liking this action to work, right? I like to work. Mam patinka dirpte. Okay, let's go. Žmogus. Žmogus, that would be a human or a person. Now, a human, it's something, you know, that an alien would say, uh, probably looking down on us um, into the earth, you know. So, But žmogus is basically what you would call a person, a person. We actually have a Lithuanian word that's persona, persona, and it's more of a, you know, formal kind of uh, word. Somebody would understand you if you said that word, it's fine, but we usually use just the word žmogus, žmogus, a person. It's, it's more like a human, if we try to directly translate it to uh, English language, but it, we use it as a person. Now, good... Good is garas, if it's a masculine singular, gera, if it's a singular feminine, and plural means gere, gere. Garas, gera, gere. Garas, gera, gere. Good, good, right? So how would you say he is a good person? He is a good person. You would say yes, ira. Now we know. Why do I put uh, ira in the, these parentheses? Is because um, it's optional to use the verb to be in Lithuanian language. I can just say yes, garaj mugus, and that would mean the same. He is a good person. If I want to, I can say ira. It's fine, but I don't have to use it. Yes, ira garaj mugus, or yes, garaj mugus, garaj mugus. Now, mugus 
we use the form of garas, we use this version, garas, because jmogus is actually uh, a masculine word, masculine noun. Nouns in Lithuanian language have gender. They're either masculine or, uh, or feminine. And jmogus, <coughs> this ending jmogus, us, gives us a way that this, it's actually a masculine noun. That therefore we're using the masculine version of this adjective. We're saying yis garaj mogus. I can't say, it's not possible to say yis garaj mogus. No, yis garaj mogus doesn't work, right? Because mogus is a masculine noun. Therefore I'm saying yis garaj mogus or yis ira garaj mogus. Either way. Good. Now mati, mati means a year. Or, or years, it doesn't matter because in Lithuanian language, mate is kind of a, it's, it's a noun that it's, it's, o, it's only in plural version. It's only in plural. Because if I said a version of one, like matas, with the ending matas, you will find another noun later on. You will see what it means. But if we're talking just about year or years, we have mate. And if I only added, uh, for example, uh, one to this, and I would say, Vieni mati, vieni mati. I would still use the plural version even of the of the um, of the uh, number vieni, vieni mati, because there's no singular version of this of this noun. Therefore, I'm saying vieni mati, as if I would be saying one years, right? It's, I know it's 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 a little bit different than what you than what you used to in English language, but that's the way it works. Therefore, we have mati a year or years. Next year, next year would be kitimati, or if we're talking in next year, we're talking kitais matis. We're using different case over here, right? Kitais matis. I will be doing a separate lesson about cases because it's something that you have to understand in Lithuanian language, but we're doing this bit by bit, okay? So next year, that would be kitimati, or in the next year, kitais matis. Kitais matis. Lakas is time. Lakas means time. Time. Lakas. 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 So, for example, I have time. Have. To have is turiete. Turiete. So, I have time would be ashturiu leiko. Ashturiu leiko. We're using turiu ending, right? We have particular declension. Also, we will have a lesson about declensions. For now, I want to focus on words that we can use. You know, we have, we have to have this kind of a core of main uh, Lithuanian words. And today we're working with nouns. So, I have time is ashturiu leiko. Ashturiu leiko, right? Ashturiu leiko. Sistema. Wow, that's a very similar word. Actually, it's system. 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 Sistema, 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 a good system, guerra, sistema. Because sistema, the ending a, gives away that it's a feminine noun. Therefore, I'm not using garas, as in garas rumogus, a good person. I'm saying guerra, sistema, a different ending for uh, adjective good. Guerra, sistema, system, right? Sistema. Gamiba. Gamiba is production, production, gamiba, a good production, gera gamiba, ending a gives away that it's a feminine noun, gamiba, gera gamiba, not garas, gamiba, gera gamiba, good production, gera gamiba, gera gamiba. Imone, imone is company, company, we have this very specific now, I, right, with this little thing that we actually call it uh, nosine, nosine in Lithuanian language, which would be translated to a handkerchief, something that you blow your nose out uh, to, you know. This is what we call it, right? Nosine, nosine. We will talk more about the letters and how we use them. I will create a separate lesson. But for now, imone, imone is a company, imone. It is a big company. Now, big would be didelis, didele if it's feminine, didelis if it's male, didele if it's feminine. 
Therefore, imone ending e. This also very not mm, familiar letter to Lithuanian language, uh, to, to English language. I'm sorry, imone e. It gives away that it's a feminine noun also. Therefore, it's a big company. The ira didele imone. Again, ira is optional. The ira didele imone. Didele imone. If we wanted to say uh, a big person, didelis žmogus, didelis, we, we would have is ending because it's a different ending. That's because žmogus, žmogus, a person, that would be a masculine noun. Didele imone, didele žmogus, a big person. Tere didele imone, it's a big company. Tai didele imone, tai didele imone. Vieta would be a place. A place, a good place, gera vieta, gera vieta, ending a gives away that it's actually a feminine noun also, gera vieta, geras žmogus, as ending, because žmogus, a person, is a masculine, but a good place, gera vieta. Actually, a good place also works like a, a, a place, you know, a place somewhere actual, a space, you know, but it, it can also be a place in a competition as well. Geravieta also means the, the person uh, has taken a good place in a competition, has won a good place in a competition. Wor works the same the same way. So a good place, geravieta. Geravieta. Okay, now, jame or jamais, jamais, uh, if it's a plural, would be either earth, if it's a singular, jame, and jamis, but you can also use jame as well as soil, something that, you know, cultivate on the, in, in the ground, like on the ground, that would be jamis, like a plural, or jame uh, as a singular, right? Also a feminine noun. Istatimus, istatimus would be a law, a law. Now, vaikas, vaikas would be either a child or a kid, and it's a uh, masculine noun, vaikas. A child or a kid, it, it's, it's, it's the same word in Lithuanian language. So, for example, Tom is a good kid. Tom is a good kid. You would say Thomas, optional, of course, for ira. Thomas, ira, garas, vaikas. Thomas Garas Vaikas. Or Thomas Ira Garas Vaikas. Now, if, you, if you're still a little bit confused about this Ira part, go watch um, two first lessons on this channel, uh, Basic Lithuanian, part one and part two, and you will be able to understand how uh, the verb to be works in Lithuanian language. But Tom is a good kid. Thomas Ira Garas Vaikas or Thomas Garas Vaikas. Thomas Garas Vaikas. This is a Lithuanian version of named Tom. Thomas Ira Garas Vaikas or Thomas Garas Vaikas. Givanimus. Givanimus is a life. Life. Givanimus. 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 To live would be givante. Givante. You would have the te part and you would lose the M-A-S part. Givante. To live. Givanimus. Givanimus. A good life. Garas givanimus. Garas givanimus. AS ending tells us that it's a masculine noun. Garas givanimus. A good life. Naris. Naris ira a member. 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 Naris. 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 Grupe. 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 I think you can actually guess what this word means. It's actually a group. A group, grupe, grupe, a group, a group, grupe, grupe, grupe. For example, he is a member of our group. Now, in this case, we will be using different cases because we're saying of what he is a member of, you know. We're using different case, not the uh, not, um, nominative case. He said, musu grupes. Grupes of what? Ira musu grupes naris. Grupes naris. We're using uh, 
genitive case. We're using the genitive case. These are musu grupes naris. Grupe, genitive case, grupes naris. These are musu grupes naris. Our means musu, right? Dalis, dalis is a part. A part. Dalis, dalis, dalis. Seimas, <laughs> that's a very interesting uh, noun, but it's actually one of the most commonly used nouns. We, we, um, I found out during my research, it's actually a parliament. It, it, it's the way we call our parliament. Uh, it's Seimas. And, you know, the reason why it's one of the most common nouns is because Lithuanians like to talk a lot about their parliament, and usually not talking anything good, you know. So if you hear the word Seimas, if you see it in the comments, you know, somewhere, if you're watching on... Uh, Facebook or whatever, same as it is, it's, it's the name of our parliament. Diana, Diana means a day, a day, kind of, kind of a similar word, right? Diana, it's a feminine noun, Diana, a day. So for example, one day, you would say Viana Diana, Viana Diana. Uh, you would be using accusative case in here, accusative case, Vienna, Diana, Vienna, Diana. As I said, we're going to be talking more about the cases, but in this case, one day means Vienna, Diana. When, it's like almost like when, Vienna, Diana. Valstibe arba shalis, arba, arba means or. Valstibe arba shalis, that is a country. A country. Balistibe or Arba Shalis, a country. A country. Balistibe, Balistibe, Shalis. Balistibe, Shalis. Pasaulis, that's a beautiful word. Pasaulis, Pasaulis. World, world. Pasaulis. Its origins is kind of like under the sun because Saule, Saule means. Um, sun. Pa, it's almost like under. Po, pa, pa, saulis, pa, saulis. It's, it's very kind of um, interesting word, you know, um, very beautiful sounding word. Pa, saulis, world. Niekas, nothing or nobody. It's the same word in Lithuanian language. Niekas, niekas, niekas. Now, uh, a sentence like, nobody will help you, nobody will help you, it's a very interesting one in Lithuanian language, because we would be saying, niekas tau nepades, nepades. Now, if you look carefully at this sentence, to help means padete, padete. Now, the fu this is a future ending, pades, pades. But we have this ne part at the beginning, right? And the thing is, in English language, double negatives are not allowed. I can't say, nobody will not help you. Nobody will not help you. I can only say, nobody will help you because nobody already negates, right? It means that nobody will help me. No one will help me. Therefore, I don't need the no part next to my verb, will, or will help, will not help. If I have nobody, I don't need to say will not help. Nobody will help already means that nobody will not help, right? Um, so no double negations in English, English language. But in Lithuanian language, we do that. When I'm saying niekas tauna pades, it's as if I'm saying nobody will not help you. It's just the way we use our language. It's a kind of a cultural language mindset difference, right? It, 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 when you're trying to learn a new language, you kind of have to uh, start to try to think differently. And, and this, this is one of the cases when you have to realize that we Lithuanians, we use double negatives. We, are, we actually were saying in the sentence, nobody will not help you. Niekas tau nepades. Niekas tau nepades, okay? Niekas tau nepades. Tau means like to you. Like man for me. Klausimas, another good noun, is a question. 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 
Natas. Now it's a very interesting um, word. Remember when I said that Nati, a year or years, doesn't have a singular one? Well, if you wanted to make a grammatical uh, singular noun from Nati, this is what you would get. But what it means, actually, is it means like a, either a moment, there is not really a, 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 this particular noun in English language, or a time of something. A time of something. For example, a time of day would be denos of what, of what denos, we're using different case here, diana, that would be a, a nominative case, dianos, that's already genitive case, dianos matas, dianos matas, that means a time of day, dianos matas, dianos matas, it means it is day now, right, a day now, it's kind of similar to a time of day, but it has a little bit of a difference, right? The nos matas means uh, this is daytime now, daytime. But it can also, to a certain extent, it can mean a time of day. This time of day. Tas de nos matas, that. That time of day. Tas de nos matas. Okay? Cartas. Now, it's interesting because cartas means a time. But you remember, time was lakas. Lakas was time, Lakas. But if we're talking about a time, like a one time, that is Kartas. Kartas. That's two different, completely different words in uh, Lithuanian language. Kartas is a time. A time, not time, because time is Lakas. I have time, Ashturu Laiko. But a time, one time, that is Kartas, okay? Kartas, Kartas. So, for example, one time would be Vianas Kartas. What Vianas Kartas? If I wanted to say like one time, Viana Karta, it happened one time. Like Viana Diana was one day. Viana Karta, we have this um, accusative case, right? One time, Vianas Kartas. Viscas. Viscous, that is everything, everything, viscous, viscous, viscous. And last one for today, we have processus, processus, processus. And I can think you already uh, guess what this word means. And of course, that is process, process. So learning language is a process, right? Kalbu makimasis. Kalbu, learning languages, kalbu mokimasis, ira processes, ira processes, is a process, right? Okay, so I hope this language, uh, this um, lesson was useful. Um, next lesson will be another 25 nouns, and, and I will probably do other types of uh, words, most common words uh, in the future lessons, because we need to learn these basic words, you know, these basic phrases, so you, that you can start. The most important thing is, is to start talking, try, you know, to try feeling that Lithuanian language on your, on your tongue, in your mouth, you know, so um, my wish and my, my, uh, my want for you, for you is to try it. Always say the words that I'm saying, repeat after me, try to say it before me, if you're watching this for the second time, you know. And if you need more phrases, if you need more words, as I said in the beginning, I have this 117 phrases, Lithuanian language phrases, most common phrases, this audio and PDF book that I've created, so you can press the link around the video, download it, and just start learning, start talking, start feeling this Lithuanian language. So as always, thank you for being here. If you have any questions, write in the comments, you know, I will try to answer everything. Thank you for watching, thank you for being with me, thank you for trying to learn my, my favorite language, because it's my native language, and uh, I will see you in the next lesson. Bye.